back to my channel. It's dinner time. I'm April and today is hot wing day and if you want to see how I make my favorite hot wings then just keep watching. So you can't have hot wings without that yummy red spicy hot sauce. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that first. I'm going to heat up a 12 ounce bottle of red cayenne pepper sauce and I'm going to cook it at medium heat. I'm also going to add in some dashes of hot sauce. Now you can use whatever heat that you like. You can go super hot or medium hot or mild hot, but I'm going to do medium hot because I think the cayenne uh, pepper sauce is, will be plenty hot enough. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, medium hot. And I'm also going to add in some dashes of Worcestershire sauce. So you can add in as much as you like again. And lastly, I'm going to add in a stick of unsalted butter. And then you're going to stir everything together and bring everything up to a boil. And once it's up to a boil, then you're going to bring it down to a simmer. And then it's going to get nice and thick and it's going to be ready to uh, spread or coat all over your, all over your wings. So I have my chicken here and I've already washed and cleaned it. And I'm going to add a little bit extra flavor. I'm going to add in some sea salt. And I'm going to add some pepper. And I'm going to take my tongs and I'm just going to toss it around just to make sure that everything is well seasoned. So I've already preheated my canola oil around 375 and I'm going to cook my chicken in batches. I'm going to cook the smaller pieces with the smaller pieces and the bigger pieces with the bigger pieces. The reason being is that you want your, cook, uh, your chicken to cook around the same time. And I'm going to cook them between 7 or 8 minutes on both sides or at least until they're golden brown. And as a reminder, you don't want to overcrowd your oil because you don't want the temperature of your oil to drop and you just keep going until you're done. Now that everything is drained, I'm going to place all my chicken in a baking dish. And here's where I'm going to pour all of my hot sauce all over the chicken. Make sure that all pieces are coated. Okay, you just want to toss it around and make sure each piece is coated. So I've already preheated my oven at 325 and I'm going to put them in and let them cook for another 15 minutes and then afterwards you can begin to eat and enjoy. So guys, we are all done. They look and smell amazing and you can really smell the spiciness from the red cayenne pepper sauce. It looks amazing. So now I'm going to give it a try. I'm going to dip it in some ranch dip. Mm. You guys, you have to give this recipe a try. It is so easy and it is so good. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. If you like it, hit that like button. And while you're at it, hit that subscriber button too. Until then, I'll see you very, very soon. Take care.